Got him. Got him. Oh, that's a big fish. Hey guys, Jay Siemens here. Welcome back to the big lake, to Big Windy. Lake Winnipeg, for those of you that aren't familiar, home of the Greenback Walleye. This place is world renowned for big green walleyes. I've been out here the last couple days. Haven't done great, but I, th I think things are gonna change. So I got something to stack the odds in my favor. And this is something pretty cool that just happened recently, something that changed. There's now allocations for overnight sleepers on Lake Winnipeg. In the past, there was no overnight accommodations. You can sleep in your own shack, but there's no rental options. Well, that has just changed, and I'm gonna be staying tonight in a glacier ice shack, a sleeper shack. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour of this yet, but uh, we're just settling in for the evening afternoon bite. We're with Canuck Outfitters in this beautiful glacier sleeper. And you might've remembered from a couple days ago, I was at West Coast RV, and that's actually where they picked up this glacier. Yeah, like I said, I am doing a contest at the end of the month that you can come fish with me in one of these. But yeah, we're gonna be spending the night, maybe two nights, depending on how the fishing goes. But uh, it's gonna be fun. I never stay out as late as I want or get out as early as I want because it's just tough. It's tough, but the thing is when you sleep on the ice, you can fish around the clock, you can have lines in. So anyways, I'm gonna go inside because I'm getting cold. I'll give you a little tour of what we're dealing with. Fishing in luxury. All right, we got Bailey here who works with Canuck Outfitters, works in that, we're gonna put him on the spot. You just put the shack here, right? Yep, I did. So if I don't catch fish, it's your fault. But if I do catch fish, then it's all because of you. You can say that. Are you willing to take that gamble? I'm taking that gamble. All right, he's taking the gamble. <laughs> that was always a guideline. If we catch fish, it's because of the guide. If you don't catch fish, it's because you're a junkie angler. So maybe that's how, what it'll be. We got bedding, this is nice. I was ready just to sleep in my bibs, but no, we're taking care of it, that's for sure. Knock the snow off a little bit. Look at this beautiful shack. Whew. I'm gonna give you guys the full tour yet, but I'm gonna get some gear loaded in out of the snow machine and uh, get settled in for the night. All right, first things first, we gotta get the live scope set up. We gotta get lines in. Sunset's around 4.30, so this is this is perfect. But it was interesting, talking to Matt and talking to Bailey, they are catching big walleye in the middle of the night, something that hasn't really been done too much. There hasn't been that much ice camping on Lake Winnipeg. And now with these sleepers, with lines in, who, who knows, right? They were talking about catching big ones at 8, 9 p.m. Uh, that being said, I think sunset is still a prime window, but we're gonna get things organized. Uh, I invited my friend Keevan. He was gonna come, he bailed last minute, so sucks to be Keevan, but I'm gonna have the shack to myself. The other guys might come by. I invited Bailey and Matt to come fish. The more the merrier. Yeah, this is good. So this is the 17 foot version. You could sleep, you know, one, two, three, four, probably four or five people in here. It'd be, it'd be cramped with all your gear, but yeah. Anyways, we're gonna get some gear set up. Something I noticed that's pretty perfect on the glacier right here is this little folding table. You know what that's gonna be perfect for? The live scope. So we're gonna put the live scope on this table. It'll be a nice viewing angle. So all these little black pieces here are called catch covers, and that's where there are holes drilled. It is good to have a slush bucket when you're dealing with these sleeper shacks because it's just tough. The floors do get wet, a towel or something. Slippers is good too. Right now I'm barefoot, but once the floor dries off, it'll be a little nicer. Oh, it's been a while since I've been in a sleeper shack. It, uh, this is nice, this is luxury. We're dropping down a jig and a minnow, the meathead jig with a little chunk of minnow tail. This is what I kind of talked about in the last video. The bite's been a touch slower, so downsize. Line in the water, or like 11 feet. Ooh, this is nice. Well, before we get too deep into this excursion, I'm gonna show you the meal planning I did. So, I was thinking we would eat fish tonight, but if we don't catch any, we got noodle time. Looks legit. Instant ramen noodles for an appetizer. We got sun chips, and if we happen to catch a walleye, we got some catch cook beer batter. It's good. We're living on the ice. Uh, we're almost set up, almost ready for that tour and almost ready for the prime time bike to fire up. It is currently 3.30 p.m. And hole number two, we're gonna go with a live minnow. And we're fishing. We are settled in Canuck Outfitters in the Glacier Ice House. And this is the dream. I have dreams about sleeping while fishing, waking up to fish. This, this is, it's, it's, I think everyone should experience it. They're starting to gain popularity up here, these, these sleeper style shacks, just because 
you spend lots of time driving back and forth, price of gas, and it's like, you could be sleeping on the lake, so. And, and to get your family into fishing, or your significant other, if they don't fish, bring them out, do an overnighter in here, it's good. Come in! How was the trip? Good. Oh, there's a blob under me. Woo! Come on. Oh! Would've been the first fish. <laughs> first fish in the shack, we'll see if there's still bait on. Oh yeah, look at this. Mm -hmm. He's vertical, it's not tiny. Will I get a third chance? Is he gonna go over to the other minnow? Man. Oh. There we go. First fish in the glacier. That's a good sign. Oh! Bailey was good luck. That was the first one I've hooked tonight. It gave me three chances. And even with the stinger hook, I don't think it was that big. It wasn't tiny though. That would've been my dinner. Sounds good, man. Thanks again. Yeah, no problem. Here's a nice big mark. Come on, first fish of the night. Staring at the dinner bell. It's engaging. It's not a tiny fish. Oh, what's going on here? Well, there might be two. Ooh. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, that's a big one. Come on. Oh, she's turning up. Please. Oh, that's a big fish. Ah! Oh, that fish was so big. You know the fish are in a tough mood when they turn down a live minnow, just kicking in their face. Fish are moving, we went all night. That's the beauty of it. I was just talking to my buddy Tony about this. He's like, now that you're doing the overnight thing on, on Lake Winnipeg, there's so much unknown. People don't know about camping out on Lake Winnipeg, the potential of a night bite for greenbacks. That's not something that's been talked about. It's like, oh, they don't bite at night. And then talking to other people that have been staying out overnight, it's like, no, they're, they're catching big fish. And I think there's gonna be so much more learned about, you know, when these fish eat. Middle of the night, they were saying they're catching them at eight, 10 at night, three in the morning, who knows, right? So we're gonna try. Oh. I was eating potato chips and all of a sudden this big blob appeared. Oh, come on. Oh, he's got it lined up. Please. Please. We got him. We got him. Oh, that's a big fish. Woo -hoo -hoo! There we go. Guys, first fish with Canuck Outfitters, and it's a good one. Whew. I'm fine if that's the only fish we catch. Unreal, I played with that fish for so long on the live scope. Oh my heart. All right, there we go. We worked that fish for so long. And once again, this small tungsten Oh, that's focusing the small tungsten with the stinger hook and it was down down its trap there's more fish kicking around down here i need to get in the zone that was a full yeah hour full hour after sunset normally i'd be probably almost packed up by then and like i said these fish bite in the dark oh sorry the lighting is kind of tough in here we'll make it work Ooh, fish just popped up under the live minnow okay all right i see you oh he's got some speed Oh yes, that might be lunch. And by lunch, I mean dinner. Oh, barely by the stinger. Oh, there we go, we got dinner. Dinner is served fresh on Lake Winnipeg. Oh, so much water running down my sleeve. What are you doing up so late, Mr. Walleye? Well, we got an eater, which was one goal because I wanted to eat fish tonight and we got a big fish. Not, not a giant, respectable, didn't measure it, like 25 incher maybe. You know, the fact that you can fish around the clock is spectacular. But I'm gonna give you guys a tour of the glacier. I'll just do a head cam tour. That way I can be a little more interactive and show you what we all got here. So as you can see, all these black spots are hole covers. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six hole spots. And then this is awesome, check this out. This button over here. Boom, hydraulic bed coming down. So I could jig from the top if I wanted. Look at that. So sweet, you can put the ladder on, you can turn the table, you can drop the table down to make it another sleeping area. We'll put that back up. But another thing that uh, Dylan was saying is he likes to use this top area just for gear storage. So put your backpack up there, any extra tackle, which I, I might actually do. You've got the thermostat, 
propane, charging center, charging ports all over, windows, outlets. This is pretty cool too. There's lights to light up your hole, which is nice when you're fishing in the dark. Um, over here, this is his own addition, Matt's addition. The rod holders. You've got your crib board for playing some crib. Boom, flat screen TV. It's a smart TV, hook it up to your phone. You got this nice counter here, but underneath, there's storage inside of there. Good place to store your rods. As I mentioned before, it's fold out table for live scope. And then over here, you've got the fridge. Pretty sweet fridge freezer. More storage, more storage, fire extinguisher. Um, here you've got another bed that folds down. Boom, sleep another person up there. Another place for storage. Couch, this goes flat as well. You've got more storage underneath. I've heard these are the best holes to fish in overnight if you wanna sleep there because just with how the heat is set up, they, they stay, they just freeze up a little bit less in these holes. And then over here, boom. This is where we're gonna do some cooking later tonight. Gas range, this is nicer than my range at home. Microwave. And that cool container, more storage. And then in here, I know in some of these, it could be a washroom. This one is basically just storage, overflow. There's a bucket you can use if you need to use the bathroom. But yeah, this is it. This is the, yeah, the 17 foot version. Cup holder for watching the game. Yep, I'm a fan. Two hours after sunset now. Did a little wardrobe change, new catch cook hoodie. Feeling fresh, feeling good. Hey yo. Yo, big fish coming in Brando, big one. Real big one coming in. Oh hey, baby, what do I do? Get him. Uh, where is he? Oh, oh man, he just saw my jig. Oh, come on Jay. He's turning up. Come on. <laughs> it's big Brandon. It's so big, it looks like two fish on the live scope. <laughs> Tap him up. Oh. He's gonna, oh, he might do it. Yep. Oh, it's big. Oh, it's big. Oh man, my heart is pounding. Woo! Stay on baby, stay on. I think I just lost her. No! No! Oh, the stinger got hooked on the bottom of the hole. I could cry. Did you guys, that was just insane on live scope. Oh man. That fish was so big. That was, yeah, definitely the biggest fish I've hooked in the last few days. Oh well, these fish are moving. This is the best action I've had now, two hours after dark. I lost the giant under the ice. Oh, oh, big one. He's so big and he's right by my dinner bell. Just keep it still. Oh my God. Oh man, oh man, that's a big fish. Oh, he's turning, what is he doing? <sighs> this is insane the amount of big fish cruising around right now, Sam. Oh, he might be coming for the minnow. There's another, there's just so many fish. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got uh, live minnows in the garbage pail. Oh, I got a bunch. up top there if you want to. What do you want, Claire? Oh man. Oh, there's two here. Oh, this one's turning around. Yeah. Oh, come on, come up. Oh, he's coming up. This might be it. Oh, this fish is like nose right behind it. Yep. Ooh. Come on. Get in the hole. Oh, that's a nice one. Woo. There we go. It's a mess. We got another one in the shack. I got water all down my sleeve. Well, I have now had better action three hours into the dark then all day running around. That was exciting. There's another one down there still. Those are some nice loafers you got. I know, right? Oh, whoa, 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 that's Ooh. a big mark on you. Oh, Bailey, he's looking at your minnow. Oh, Bailey, he's oh, gonna eat. Go. He's gonna eat. Bring it home. Come on. That's a big fish. Just let it meet. Oh, he's, there he is. Yes. Oh, I got him. Good grab. All right. Lively guy. Bailey scored. We don't need any more fish to eat. Going back. Do you guys see that fish? Maybe no. not on yours. Oh, yeah. Ooh, who's gonna catch it? Come on. Bailey's gonna catch it. Ladies and gentlemen, Bailey's about to hook up with a big greenback walleye in the dark. It is 942. 
or the Canuck Outfitters. They were just about to leave, and now magic's about to happen. Oh no, he's losing interest. Oh no. Bailey fumbled that one for the team. Drop a comment <laughs> on what Bailey should have done differently. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Here we have Bailey with another chance to redeem himself. Will he make it happen? This is your chance. Come on. Oh, you're gonna just, oh, just let him eat it. Your boss is watching you. <laughs> oh man, it's so dumb because they'll go vertical and then as soon as you see them go a touch horizontal, it's like boom, another one moving in on the left. Oh. Look at this, whew. Oh yeah, look at this. Bailey, this is your third chance. It's gonna happen. Make it happen, Bailey. Oh, that fish is gonna eat. Come on. That fish is definitely gonna eat. Oh yeah, he's gonna eat right now, right now. Oh, he throttled it. There we go. Spit in the hole. It's a nice fish. Oh yeah. Another one. In the dark, what time is it? 10.26, Bailey and I are hanging oh out. <laughs> we got greenback fever. Oh yeah. All right, she's unhooked. Yep, there we go. Cool. Ooh. Third try. Welcome to Cooking with Jay. We've got one walleye. That's my dinner. And maybe some noodles. Maybe noodles and walleye. Maybe we can turn that into something. By the way, Catch Cook merch. Hopefully by the time this video drops, is now online. So we got some new designs. Andrew Mocha, our buddy in the States, helped design some cool designs, artwork, whatever you want to call it. Anyways, we got a green bag to cut up. Got a little catch and cook. Here's a secret for you. Even though it's beer batter, you can use it as a dry mix. Don't tell anyone. We'll just sprinkle it right onto the fish. Just like that. Oh, wow, it's on. Okay. Noodle time. Catch a cook walleyes, noodle time, Lake Winnipeg. Well, dinner was delicious. Uh, it is now time to lower the bunk and get ready for nap time. Still fish moving through. Quarter after 11, there's still fish moving through. Yeah, let's let's lower the sucker down and get, get the bed ready. All right, we're gonna get into night mode. All right, I can deal with that. All right, this is good. This is good. Oh yeah. This is this is the deal. All right, we're calling it a night. I might keep the live scope on and maybe jig a little more, but it was a good day, good evening, and I'm gonna be right here jigging for the morning bite. It's gonna be glorious. We'll see you guys in the morning. Sleep tight, sweet dreams. All right, I just turned the live scope on and there's a big fish all over me right now. Like instant. I haven't even gotten the main camera set up or my audio. It's a big mark. Got him. First thing in the morning, I can barely talk. This is a good fish. Oh! Good morning, Lake Winnipeg. Look at that. To start the day. There we go. That was instant. Good morning. I'm feeling pretty rough this morning. I thought I'd beat my sickness and I don't know, maybe spending time outside the last couple days. But anyways, I'm very happy to be in this nice warm shack. But uh, my mindset has definitely changed on greenback fishing and the time of day you can catch greenback. That first one I just caught today was a full hour before sunrise. The ones we were catching last night, four hours after sunset. You can catch these fish any time of day, any time of night. And honestly, it was a full moon last night. Might have something to do with it, but that was the best action I've seen in the last three days was last night, hours after sunset. So I, I think the possibility of these sleeper shacks is definitely gonna change things. I think we're gonna see a lot more big fish being caught at night 
and you know tuning in on how to catch them at night maybe it's a little bit different i went that finesse approach and that seems to be a lot more successful at least with the mood they're in now but i'm going to be totally honest i pop some painkillers for my headache drink it some water i'm going to hop back under the blankets uh and watch the live scope screen until i have to get out of bed Here we go. Come on, close the gap. Oh, he's gonna eat it. Woohoo! Fishing in bed, baby. Fishing in bed. <laughs> Lake Winnipeg night bite. I guess it's sunrise bite by now. Oh man, I love this. Same thing we've been catching all the fish on. That little meathead jig. Another one going back down. She go! Gear I've been using, this is the 39 medium light. This is the drench. Nice for dead sticking. You can still set the hook with it, but uh, it's, it's pretty soft, which helps keep those fish pinned. The 1000 diesel reel, 10 pound braid, 12 pound floral leader. And I've been playing around with different ways to hook the live minnows on with the meathead jig. But the one thing that I definitely think helps is adding a stinger on there. And uh, yeah, this is the smallest size meathead. All right, we're gonna drop back down. That was awesome. <sighs> uh, <coughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. How's it not eating yet? There we go. Not big. Shoot these scores! Wow, my voice is just gone. The fish are still moving though. Oh. Wow. I just dropped on that fish. Jeez. Sorry, Matt. All right, still some fish. It's funny, sometimes you do all this moving around, trying to find fish, and the other times you sit in bed and can have your best walleye fishing of the trip so yeah i think these are going to gain a lot of popularity especially now seeing that you can catch these big greenbacks at night and you know there's rental options you don't have to buy one if you want to buy one west coast rv is the local dealer they are the exclusive dealer in western canada for these glacier shacks but if you're like hey i want to try one out it's pretty affordable i think it's about 500 bucks canadian for the night Some, something like that i think three 350 for the day if you just want to rent it for the day um, and even just to come spend a day in here with the families, it's that's cheap. Like I, I couldn't believe it was only 350. It's a good deal. It's a lot of fun. They were saying they've had a lot of family groups in here, and yeah, if you're new to fishing, I think this is an easy, easy way to ease into it. They've got rods. They drill the holes. They've got bait. It's pretty foolproof. But we're gonna get back to some jigging. <clears throat> I can't stay in bed all day, I guess. Oh, we got him. He's small, and he's in the transducer. All right, if you want saugers, it's a good place for saugers too. Ooh, we got another fish rolling in. He engaged. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, this fish has a little bit of meat. Nice. Back to back, baby. Oh, another one. Oh, it's gonna be right on his head. Come on! We got him. Oh! Oh, he's coming back. With speed. A little bit of fungus on this guy. Might uh, have to slice that off for breakfast. A little bit of cauliflower. <laughs> Man. Crazy looking stuff. Ooh, what do we got here? This guy's aggressive. Just reeled right into him. Wow, jeez. Almost got a hook in the hand. This is good fishing. All right guys, that, that is ice fishing in luxury. Uh, I don't do this very often um, in the sleeper style shack, but this glacier is, it is luxurious in every way. Um, that was fun catching fish through the night. And that's, that's another thing. I think the night bite on Lake Winnipeg is gonna be on more people's radar like I, I was surprised two three four hours after sunset and 
the fish were still moving through and were more active than during the day. So that was super cool to see. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the Glacier. They are available at West Coast RV if you want to drop some coin and buy one, but you can also just rent it. Canuck Outfitters, Matt, thank you so much for hosting me. Bailey as well for putting us on the fish. Um, this will not be my last time and uh, yeah, so good. All right, we'll see you guys next time.